Hello and welcome to a new video from me. Today I will show you step by step how to make the best use of the debugger of ABAP development tools in Eclipse. Whether you are looking for code locations or need to analyze errors, here you will learn the essential techniques to make your ABAP development in Eclipse more efficient. So I have a program here and with double click on this line, we set a breakpoint. So if we run the program now, the debugger will be, will be stopped in this line. So here the question if we want to change the perspective to debug, we do this and we see here now different windows in the debug perspective. We see here all the variables which are used in the program structure for example with the different fields or the normal variable and, and an internal table and if we double click on this internal table we see here the table and the entries below and here we can delete entries delete rows right mouse click delete selected rows we can change values here, right mouse click, change value. And we can add lines here. We can insert rows from selection and change values and so on. So we can press the key F5 on the keyboard to do a step by step we can enter here another variables for example suit habits and if we press the f5 key then we go a step forward we do the loop and we see the value increases with the key f8 we run the program to the end with double click we can remove the breakpoint and now I set a new breakpoint in the loop with double click and right mouse click and breakpoint properties. We can set conditions to this breakpoint. And I will set the condition, for example, SuitTapix is 79. So the breakpoint, uh, the, the debugger starts when SuitTapix is. 79. So let's run the program. We see the debugger is open and now let's add the variable suitTapix on the variable tab. We see here the value is 79. So we go on with the key F5 and next loop the condition is not true so the program will run to the end. These conditions are very comprehensive and powerful in my opinion. So again, let's set another condition. We can open the conditions window with uh, control double click and we can uh, use the structures and fields of structures for example, now I want to check if the carity of the structure uh, is LH. And if this, for example, here it is, then the debugger stops. And now let's check the suit habix. We add this variable again and we see the value is 37. So the first entry with the carity LH is on line 37 from our internal table. Again, we open the conditions window again, and we can do this uh, with values of an internal table, for example. In this case, I would check if the 10th entry of brain type contains the word string, then we can use classes we can check if the uh, attribute of a class is true or whatever. And we can use functions as well. For example, the lines function. So we can check 
if the or with this condition if the the entries of the internal table ITS flight greater than 100 then the debugger stops we check this so we run the program and no the debugger stops not why First, we change the condition to less than 100. And then we start the program again. And now the debugger stops. And now let's check the entries of the internal table. So we close on the right side the structure. And here we see ITS flight 94 records. Then we open again the conditions window and we can add more than one condition. We can set here or we can check here the carry D and the seats max value with and or we can use an or here too. And if we check here the entry, the carry D is a set and the seats max value is 140. So the condition is true, so the debugger stops. Okay. So the next thing what I want to show is we can um we can set here hard breakpoints and soft breakpoints soft breakpoints are used you have to call the program in a special way that they will be used i only use the normal breakpoints the blue ones and we can set here more program uh, more breakpoints in the programs and in different programs and then there's another view. We open this view with window show view here breakpoints. And in this view, you can see all the breakpoints, what you have set in your system. So you can group these breakpoints. For example, uh, with uh, systems or projects. I have only this uh, test system here and I have only four breakpoints but if you have more systems or more working sets then this list can be much bigger so we set this back to the default view to all breakpoints and here we can deactivate breakpoints we can uncheck the box here and then we see the color turns from blue to white white means inactive so if we call the program now the first and the second break uh, breakpoint in this program is inactive and only the third breakpoint is active and the program will be stop at the third breakpoint on the left side the core stack of the program And this is the debugging perspective, a nice overview, all necessary information for debugging, in my opinion. And yes, thanks for sticking with it to the end. I hope you found the tips on searching and debugging in Eclipse useful. If you liked the video, please click on like. Do you have any questions or tips of your own? Write them in the comments. Subscribe to the channel to become part of the community and not miss any future videos. Take care and good luck with your coding.